Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a video for um, your Nokia 225 4G. So I'm making this tutorial because it has occurred to me that this isn't really well documented online. You can't find any information on how to convert your video for this specific phone. So I decided to make a video about it. And by the way, I can't truly really confirm this. But I think this method would work with other um, uh, Nokia branded phones with a Unisoc CPU. If your phone has a Unisoc CPU and it's not a 25-4G, it might work as well. But I can't confirm that because I don't have other phones with, the, with a Unisoc CPU. Anyways, I can guarantee you that it works with the 225 4G. So over here we have an example. This is a video. As you can see, it's a regular video. And it is in 1080p and all that stuff. And it's, it's in WebM. You can't just drag and drop this in the phone. It's not going to work. What you need to do is convert this video into something the phone is able to read. So what you're going to do is install a program called FFmpeg. If you don't have it installed, you should install it. Um, and installing it requires, well, knowing how to use the command line um, and setting up path variables and all that kind of stuff and it would pretty much require its own video. So what I would suggest you to do is if you don't have FFmpeg installed, pause the video now, go look at another tutorial online uh, on how to install FFmpeg on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Usually Linux, it's already installed, but you know, just look it up and um, and then come back because we need this program it's a little hard to install but trust me it's really 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 useful right so assuming that you have installed the program what you need to do is to open the command prompt if assuming you're in windows and it's going to be pretty much the same thing on linux as well so um open the command prompt where your video is your video is for example my video is in the example folder so I'm just gonna open the command prompt I typed in CMD um, for those who was weren't able to see what I did I typed in CMD on that top bar to open the command prompt all right now that we're in the command prompt here's what you're gonna do so um, this is the this is the content of the um, the folder that we're right in this is the video that we wish to convert first off make sure ffmpeg is installed type in ffmpeg press enter if you see a bunch of text it's installed if it says it's an unrecognized command it's not installed so you have to install it Right, at this point, you have to make do the following command ffmpeg space dash i space, and now you're going to write the name of the file of your video file that you want to convert. In my case, it will be the following file. Once you've done that, by the way, if there are spaces in the name, you can put the name in quotation marks. Once you've done that, do space dash vf scale 320 by 240. So what this does is scale, it's gonna say you want the resolution of the video to be 320 pixels um, in width and uh, 240 in height. Now the reason why we're using this specific resolution is because this resolution is the resolution of the phone's screen. There is no need to have any higher resolution than this. 
Now if your video is widescreen, if your video is 16 by 9, you can write, instead of 240 here, you can write uh, 180. This is 16 by 9. However, if your video is in 4 by 3, like my example, if your video is standard, write 240. Okay? Or you can use a calculator and figure out your own aspect ratio. Uh, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, as long as the um, the height is all, I mean the width is always 320, uh, but just, you know, I'm just going to give you the, the most common aspect ratio is 4 by 3, you're going to write 240, 16 by 9 would be 180. Right, so once you've done that, you can type in dash Q scale space zero. Now what that does is that it it just it wants the highest quality possible pretty much. That's what it does. Next up, this will depend on your original file. I'm gonna write dash AR44100. This thing will um, tell you what the audio rate is going to be. In my case, it's going to be 44,100. Uh, I believe it's Hertz. Um, that is, I need to write this because my original video is actually 48,000. And if you have a 48,000 Hertz audio rate video in your phone, it's going to sound weird. Um, so your, if your original video has a 48,000 hertz um, audio, you're gonna have to write this uh, this one. Now, if your original video is not 48,000, it's 44,100 or below, you don't need to write the following argument. Once you've done that, all there's left to do is to have an output uh, file, so you can name it whatever you want. I can name it example dot FLV. FLV is important. Yes, it, it is the the FLV the f, you know the flash format. Why does the phone accept this? I don't know, but it accepts this. And I'd rather use FLV than MP4. The phone does accept MP some form of MP4, but FLV works better in my uh, case. I don't know. MP4, there's some weird audio video synchronization issues. FLV works perfectly fine for me. So once you've done all that and make sure there are no errors, you can go ahead and press enter. And now you wait. Once it's done, there it is. Example.FLV, your video is done. All there's left to do now is to drag and drop this video into your phone and you're good to go.